I am Dr. Rajesh Tachathodial, Head of Department of Adult Cardiology at Amrita Hospitals, Kochi. Recently, we had a shocking news about a young, apparently fit person suddenly succumbing to a heart attack. This incident and previous incidents also has sent a shock wave across the youngsters in our country. This video is actually intended to reduce the the fear among young people about this particular incident and how as a youngster we can prevent heart attacks and similar incidents in the future. One thing you should understand that a person might look apparently healthy and strong but he might not be in the best of uh, cardiac health. So there are two situations which can occur. One, a person suddenly falling and uh, falling dead and second thing, a person developing a heart attack and then succumbing to the heart attack. There are two different things which I need to clear in this video. There are some conditions which are inherited, which are, uh, we call it genetically uh, acquired conditions, which predispose a person, young person, to uh, sudden cardiac arrest. So this, these conditions are, could be an abnormality in the heart muscle like we call it hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, where the heart muscle becomes thick in people for some unknown reasons. This is a genetically acquired condition. There are other conditions like uh, long QT, other conditions which can predispose a young person to uh, suddenly developing cardiac arrest. The second situation is a person developing a heart attack. This happens during intense physical activity or a person who is not accustomed to regular exercise suddenly when he exercises one fine day, he develops a heart attack. So these two situations are which predispose a person to suddenly falling a victim of sudden cardiac death. Now, how do we, how as a youngster, how can we prevent this uh, situations? How can we stay healthy? Nowadays, we are finding a situation, we are seeing situations where very young people, as young as 30 or 40 years, coming to, to the emergency room with heart attacks. The reason for this is, the lifestyle of these people have changed. Many people are uh, uh, leading a sedentary lifestyle. They are not regular, used to regular exercise. They have multiple risk factors which, which goes unrecognized, like family history of heart disease, high blood pressure and diabetes, and cholesterol. Many of them don't even test their blood, uh, blood sugars or cholesterol. And then when these people engage in vigorous physical activity without having a proper cardiac checkup, then this situation can happen where the per person during intense workout develops a heart attack. Heart attack happens because there are some minor blockages in, in the coronary arteries. And when these arteries are exposed to extreme physical stress, this, the, the blocks inside, we call it plaques, it ruptures and that causes the complete occlusion, a complete stoppage of blood supply to a particular artery and this results in heart attack. So as youngsters, how we can prevent this kind of situation? Now it's very important that before we engage in exercise, very extreme physical activity or exercise, we need to have a, a prior cardiac checkup or a general health evaluation where by doing very simple tests like ECG, an echocardiogram, and other blood tests, we can identify one's own risk factors which can predispose a person to developing heart attacks. So simple blood tests include a fasting blood sugar, a fasting lipid profile, a, a basic liver function test, uric acid. These tests will identify whether a person has high cholesterol or not. Similarly, when you go to a doctor, you can have your blood pressure examined and this will tell you whether you have, whether you have normal blood pressure or high blood pressure. Very simple test. And nowadays, blood pressures can be estima estimated at home itself with this automated digital blood pressure apparatuses. And so with this uh, simple test, like an ECG also, ECG is a very important test. It basically tells you whether you have a rhythm problem or you have previously had a heart attack. So with this ECG and then doing a test called echocardiogram. Echocardiogram is a simple ultrasound of the heart. It tells you whether you have heart muscles are normal, whether they have thickened, 
or there is, uh, you have had a previous heart attack. So this simple test, which doesn't cost much in, and readily available in most of the centers, this test can actually determine whether you have high cholesterol or uh, and uh, blood pressure, and similarly, whether you have a inherited heart condition, which can predispose to developing sudden cardiac death or heart attack. Similarly, uh, after doing this test, if person is fit enough, you can do a treadmill test. And if a person has multiple risk factors, like high blood sugar, a strong family history of heart disease, where young uh, family members have succumbed to heart attacks at a very young age, or they've had a procedure like angioplasty or bypass surgery at a very young age, people have multiple risk factors can also benefit from a test called a cardiac CT scan. A cardiac CT scan is a simple uh, CT scanner. It's a very advanced scanner in the sense that it rotates very fast and the radiation exposure is very limited, very negligible in this uh, CT scanners. A person can just lie down on the machine and there are two aspects to the CT scan. One is, it, before we inject contrast, it tells you the calcium deposit in the blood vessels. Some people have very high calcium uh, deposit in the blood vessels. We do a test uh, quantification by doing what is called a calcium scoring. And people with very high calcium scoring are predisposed to developing heart attacks. Similarly, the second part of this CT exam is actually injecting contrast and looking at the inner blood vessels, heart, uh, coronary arteries, they're looking at the wall of the coronary arteries and seeing whether there are some plaques which can predispose to developing heart attacks. So there are some characteristics on the cardiac CT. We call it high risk or a unstable plaque or a vulnerable plaque whereby we can exactly determine whether this person can potentially develop a heart attack. So once you have done this basic test, you, are, you know your, the, the extent of disease which you have or you are completely normal and then you can, based on the advice of a cardiologist or a, or a physician, you can engage in vigorous physical activity. So without paying heed to all this, directly walking into a gym and trying to develop a good biceps or a six pack or an eight pack without having a prior cardiac examination is what predisposes people to developing a heart attack or a sudden cardiac death. So by doing this simple test, uh, we can actually determine the risk of developing this problem, so whether it can be done safely, all this physical activity. It's important to also have a, a regular physical exam, at least a yearly once or so, so that you can identify changes in the blood test or changes in your uh, uh, blood pressure or other exams which can make you more cautious and also uh, and the important thing I want to stress is having a good lifestyle. We recommend as cardiologists to have at least 30 minutes of regular physical activity, at least six days a week, that's what we recommend. And then uh, second thing is to engage in a, having a proper diet, which in incorporates a lot of fruits and vegetables and uh, so that you stay healthy and live a happy life. Thank you very much.